Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's story time. I have to start off this morning, though, uh, today with uh, some bad news. Uh, because Decatur County is going to red, uh, the leadership has decided that we had better not have the Young at Heart uh, Thanksgiving pitch-in on the 17th. Uh, we want to be on the safe side, and all of you young at heart people are uh, too precious to us. We don't want to take a chance uh, on getting any of you uh, infected with the coronavirus. So I really hate it because we were looking forward to it. But uh, hey, uh, better safe than sorry, I say. So if things happen to clear up uh, uh, soon... We may be able to work it in uh, somewhere, but as of now, we're, we're going to have to say, no, we can't do it. We have to cancel it. Uh, but hey, we are still having regular worship hours here at church on Sunday. So we hopefully will see you at those services, 8, 9.30, or 11. All right, this first uh, story that I have for you today it, well, actually, I only have one for you today. It's called The Children's Bible in a Nutshell. And uh, I think it's a little funny, but yet there's a lot of good truths in this. All right, here we go. In the beginning, which occurred near the start, there was nothing but God, darkness, and some gas. The Bible says the Lord God is one, but I think he must be a lot older than that. <laughs> anyway, God said, give me a light, and someone did. Then God made the world, you know, because of all that gas. <laughs> he, uh, then God made the world. He split the atom and made Eve. Adam and Eve were naked, but they weren't embarrassed because mirrors hadn't been invented back then. Adam and Eve disobeyed God by eating one bad apple. So they were driven from the Garden of Eden. Not sure what they were driven in, though. Because they didn't have cars back then either. Adam and Eve had a son named Cain. Who hated his brother as long as he was able. Pretty soon all of the early people died off. Except for Methuselah. <laughs> who lived to be like a million and something years old. One of the next important people was Noah, who was a good guy. But one of his kids was kind of a ham. Noah built a large boat and put his family and some animals on it. He asked some other people to join him, but they said they would have no, nothing to do with that. They would take a rain check. <laughs> After Noah came Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob was more famous than his brother Esau because Esau sold Jacob his birthmark in exchange for some pot roast. <laughs> Remember this is a children's version of the Bible. Jacob had a son named Joseph who wore a really loud sports coat. Another important Bible guy is Moses, whose real name was Charlton Heston. We all know that, of course. <laughs> Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt and away from the evil Pharaoh after God sent ten plagues on Pharaoh's people. 
These plagues included frogs, mice, lice, uh, bowls, and no cable TV. Well, God fed the Israelites every day with manicotti. <laughs> then he gave them his top ten commandments. These included don't lie, cheat, smoke, dance, or covet your neighbor's stuff. Oh yeah, I just thought of one more. Humor thy father and thy mother. That was a good one. One of Moses' best helpers was Joshua, who was the, the first Bible guy to use spies. Joshua fought the battle of Jeritol, and the fence fell over on the town. After Joshua came David. He got to be king by killing a giant with a slingshot. <laughs> Imagine that. He had a son named Solomon who had about 300 wives and five or 700 porcupines. I don't remember which. My teacher says he was wise but that doesn't sound like a very wise guy to me. After Solomon, there were a bunch of major league prophets. One of those was Jonah, who was swallowed by a big whale and then barfed up on the shore. There were also some minor league prophets, but I guess we don't have to worry about them. After the Old Testament came, the New Testament came upon us. Jesus is the star of this New Testament. He was born in Bethlehem in a barn. I wish I had been born in a barn too. Because my mom, she's always saying to me, Close the door. Were you born in a barn or something? I would... It would be nice to say, as a matter of fact, I was. <laughs> During his life, Jesus had many arguments with sinners like the Pharisees and the Democrats. Jesus also had 12 opossums. The worst one was Judas Asparagus. Judas was an e so evil that they named a terrible tasting vegetable after him asparagus jesus was a great man however he healed many lepers leopards and even uh, preached to some germans on the mount but the democrats and all those guys who put jesus on trial before pontius the pilot Pilate didn't stick up for Jesus. He just washed his hands instead. Always, anyways, Jesus died for our sins, then came back to life again. He went up to heaven, but will be back at the end of the aluminum. His return is foretold in the book of revelations all right well that's the children's bible in a nutshell <laughs> i hope you like that you know it, it's it, there's some truths in there and of course there's some humor uh so don't take it word for word please because there are some some things that aren't true either in there but uh it's it's interesting how sometimes uh children uh, see the message and the story of the Bible. You know, the, the kids, they, they know God's name. It's, it's Harold. <laughs> uh, oh, well. well, we'll leave that for another story. All right. Well, that's all my story today, and I'm sticking to it. So have a, have a great week, everybody, and, and uh, hopefully uh, we will see you uh, this Sunday for worship at 8, 9.30, or 11. Have a great week.